state tournament, that four versus five matchup with James Monroe and Huntington St. Joe, the final game of the night at 9 o'clock. Had to wait all day. So here we go. St. Joe and James Monroe. Irish had to work to dig themselves out of an early double-digit deficit. Lacey Smith, open look and cashes in for three. Getting going. Lady Mavs keeping the pressure on them offensively, though. Maya Dunlap, Bunny, good. Irish back down the other end, working it around to Ava Gallion. She's got a strap, hits it with a hand in her face. St. Joe battling back. Then here comes Nico Kaufman. Blows by a couple defenders and finishes in the paint. Irish battle all the way back. They took a lead, but lose a heartbreaker at the end. 58-57 is your final. James Monroe wins. The Quad A state quarterfinal in Charleston. Spring Valley in Huntington with the Chick-fil-A cow in attendance. Big time. Third period. Jada Turner slices through the paint. Wolves trailed by seven entering the fourth quarter. So Savannah Davis cuts to the basket, finishes off the nice feed from Sophie Hutchison. Huntington's Amaya Smith going to uncork from the top of the key here. Nails it. Both teams trading blows in the late stages. Davis once more can't connect on the mid-range jumper, but follows her shot, cleans it up for another Spring Valley bucket. Dramatics. 13 seconds to go. Wolves down two. Allie Daniels ties up this ball game. So now with four seconds to play, tied up. Ella Giles to Amara Jackson. She's got to beat the buzzer. Oh, yeah, she's got it. Jackson and the Highlanders advance to the state semi. 51-49 is your final score, and Andrew Colgrove was there. He has your post-game reaction. Describe the emotions as you see that shot go in. It was just really fun, and I was really happy because everybody always dreams of making a buzzer beer. That's the first time I've ever did it, so I was really happy about it. That's typical Huntington High Spring Valley game. We battle, we battle. They're all, well, I don't say they're all friends, but most of them are friends. We played them four times now. Uh, every game was closer and closer. Um, thought we made, we didn't make shots in the third quarter. Let them get it separated from us. We caught back up and then Jackson made a hell of a shot right there to end the game. Tough to beat a team three times in a row, let alone four. How about Gilmore County versus Riverview in a single A? First period, Gilmore County's Bailey Frazier, mid-range elbow jumper, got it. Frazier again, gets her shot blocked. But Ava Dobbins picks it up. She gets her second attempt to drop. Dobbins going to work some more. In the paint, goes over top of the defender, using the height out there. Another score. Now Riverview's Abigail Pruitt from beyond the arc cans it. Gilmer back down the floor. Allie Ellison finishing on the break. A dominant start to the state tournament for Gilmer County. 78-33. They win, and they're moving on. Boys now, Triple A Region 4, Nitro and Wayne. First quarter action, Timmy Lovejoy from three. Yep, connects. He says count them, all three of them. Ty Stevens back down the floor for Nitro. Layup won't go, but Ashton Crouch is there, two for the Cats. Okay, Zane Adkins and the Pioneers now to Isaac Meddings, who's always in range, ladies and gentlemen. Never afraid to let it fly. Later on, it's Caden Hayton. Slash into the rim. Good use of the window off the square. Other end of the floor, Calum Thomas directing traffic. Give him an orange vest, maybe. Gets it right back to him. Can't leave him open. He'll make you pay. Nitro hangs on in a close one, 55-52. And they're headed to the state tournament in Charleston.